I'm just down here at this uh, fishing area along the Duwamish River and I've been coming down here for a series of days watching all the barge activity and the boating and the industrial stuff. But people are fishing down here for salmon because it's salmon run season. And it has just been this incredibly interesting thing to come down here. Wow, that's amazing. Look at all those salmon. Yeah, you got it. He was stealing people's man. fish right after they caught them. Oh yeah, it, this, it, this is every year, bro. Really? Every year. Every year around this time when the salmon are running, uh -huh. things are here. Look at that, just scratching his belly, just like on this tip of that This is very cool. I'm at the Duwamish River, and I've come to one of the public docks right here where people are fishing because it is salmon season. The salmon are coming in. So I've come down here and I've just been watching this. So people are fishing and it's really fun because the fish come down and uh, just hang around this area and swimming through to spawn. Damn, the boy. <laughs> Oh, I got one. <laughs> and then, as people are catching them, the um, sea lions come in and grab the fish from the people. It's kind of funny to watch. Oh, there's a seal, there's a seal, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, the seal's right there. The Is it? Yeah, my dad might get it, but also the seal might get it. Wow, look at that. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's amazing. God, oh, there's the sea lion. There's a sea lion that's going around catching people's fish as they try and pull them up. Look at that. The sea lion has a huge salmon in its mouth. It's eating. Cool. <laughs> oh my God, that was so cool. There were two or three sea lions out there on any given time. It was absolutely interesting to watch them because they would tend to stay a little ways away. As they would kind of come in, you could tell that they were coming in because suddenly fish would jump out of the water. I guess trying to sort of escape them. But the sea lions had this particular tactic where they were observing people as they were catching fish. And a number of times, as people had caught a fish and they were starting to pull it in, the sea lion would swim underneath the dock and then swim underneath the fish and grab the fish off of the line. Oh, you got one. You got one. Wow, oh, oh no, the sea lion got it. <laughs> In fact, one particular time, the sea lion had pulled so hard that it actually broke the guy's lure, and I didn't catch that on film, but he got kind of upset at his line breaking, at his lure actually breaking in half because of the force that the sea lion had used to pull the fish off. But after the sea lion would do that, it would swim way out into the middle of the river and then it would eat the fish. And that was incredibly fun to watch because it was almost dog-like in how it played with the fish. And I, wouldn't, I don't think it was playing with the fish so much as it was eating it and it was trying to break the fish up into manageable 
chunk sizes. And then seagulls would fly down and try and eat bits and pieces of the fish being taken apart by the sea lion. Um, He's having fun with his food too. Oh yeah, you know, that's how they break it apart. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's, that's how they rip it apart. That is crazy. Isn't it? So it's really fun because people run around to catch the schools of fish as they're swimming from place to place. So it's not uncommon to see people running from one end of the dock here to the other to try and uh, follow a school of fish. On some days that I went down there, there were a lot of people along this dock all fishing. So much so that there was conflict every now and then. And in a couple of cases where a school of fish would swim, people would run over and they would all start casting their lines out into the middle of the fish, trying to catch fish. And that actually was a very effective technique because inevitably when there was a large school of fish and people were casting these lures out there, fish would bite and they would really quickly pull in a fish. But a number of times when people were doing that, their lines were getting tangled up. And there was one particular time when somebody got really upset at another guy uh, when they were just all rushing to catch fish and their lines got tangled up. Just all part of what was happening down there. It was really kind of fascinating to watch that. really fun to go down and watch people fishing and interact with the people and talk to the people, get to know the various personalities that were showing up. Watching the industrial barge operations and the tug operations that were going on in the background was equally fascinating and interesting to me. There were very large double-hulled barges that were being moved around and docked and then repositioned by these very large industrial tugs. They were just incredibly fascinating to watch operate. That's interesting. It looks like there's a tug that's going to try and come in. There's a guy out there with a bunch of fishing nets right in the middle of the path. At least that's what it looks like to me. Oh, look, a fish just jumped. Fish are jumping all over the place. Oh, look at that. There you go. Oh, another one. You keep the camera open long enough and <laughs> fish just jump. It's kind of hilarious. Oh, another one. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> that is the funniest thing. Shauna Kay from Portland, Oregon. Yeah, look at that. They're moving the barge right next to these other ones here. That's fascinating. <laughs> 